This is 34-year-old Leslie Brock, and he's just consumed an unhealthy amount of crack cocaine. On the 20th of June, 2023, a Flagler County Sheriff's deputy noticed Brock driving on the left side of a two-lane road for several miles and initiated a traffic stop. Instead of immediately pulling over, Brock continued driving a short distance, albeit much slower, before eventually coming to a halt and facing the deputies. Hi, Baba. What's going on? I'm, I'm asking you how about the car. You took Why? forever to pull over. Why? Huh? Why? Give me a stick up. Why? Huh? Why? What do you why? mean, why? No, no, you know you're talking about it. Come out the car. For what? Leslie, step out of the car. You talking about it. Give me a stick What I did, sir? I'm telling you, Leslie, to step out of the car. What I did, though. I'm telling you to step out of the car. What I did. Leslie, step what out of the car. What I did. Get out of the car. But I'm telling I, you to I step did. out of the but car. I'm saying, why are you talking okay. to me like that? Step I don't got nothing, bro. Step out of the car. Bro, I don't have nothing. Bro, what you doing? Step out of the car. Bro, I don't have nothing. Step out of the car. Bro, I don't have nothing, bro. Step out of the car. All right. Get out of the car. I swear, I don't got nothing. Yes, he did. Before coming to a halt, Brock had hastily ripped open a bag of crack cocaine and hurriedly ingested its contents. The deputies had seen enough and immediately radioed in for backup. Hand behind your back. Hand behind your back. Now. Put your hand behind your back. Do it now. The last thing I'm going to ask you. Put your right hand behind your back. If you pull away, you're going to get tased. I'm not. Give me the phone. Hey, get, go with the phone, you're gonna right, get tased. Know, you pull away one more time and you're getting tased. Well, what I did, sir? Man, come on, I'm Do it, not do it. All right, I'm not. Look, doing hey, that. I'm not playing with you, man. Man, I'm not doing Stop that. Stop turning man. around. Sir, I'm not doing nothing, man. man I'm he ate it all. He had it all in his mouth and he was no, chugging the drink. He had a thing of crack on his lap. Man, no, I do not, sir. Stay facing the car. Sir, I don't got nothing in here, sir. Man, sir, I don't have nothing. Hey, say, so we have a mail security and clear channel. We do need another unit. But what I did, bro, I ain't doing nothing. Bro, man, as far as the weavers, what I did, hey. sir. Man, I ain't doing nothing. Just two units. Two units. Sir, I didn't do nothing, sir. Can you hold on while I grab that bag? Well, what bag, man? You I threw it right on the ground. Bro, I don't have crack in my car, bro. I it's swear all to God. Bro, I don't have crack over me, bro. You don't have crack on you? What's this, bro? Bro, that is not crack, bro. Meth? No, that's nothing, bro. Right, because you ate it all. No, I did not. Search him. Bro, I Any gloves? Have Search no him good. On me, bro. Get him in a car. Yeah, you got gloves? He had it all over him, and he had it all over his lap. The no, bag's ripped I open. Not, bro, I didn't have no drugs on me, bro. Okay. We're going to jail. As if the ripped bag of drugs and the cocaine residue on his face weren't damning enough, Brock spent the rest of the traffic stop denying the obvious. Oh. Oh, sir, man. Why am going to jail for? You got a ripped open baggie. Man, no, I did Bro, I don't have no drugs on me. I know, I'm trying to... Bro, I don't have no drugs on me. I'll get, I'll get Man, sorry, sorry, I don't have no drugs on me, sir. Cause you ate them. No, I did not. Bro, I did not eat no drugs, sir. Open your mouth. Oh, Open my your mouth, God, Let me see. Open your mouth. You got him for a second. Yeah. Sir, I did anything? not eat no drugs, sir. Spread your legs a little bit more, Leslie. Please, hey, spread, sir. Spread your, spread your legs a little bit more. Sir, I did not. Oh, so I'm going to jail for what? Is this an arrest or something? Yep. Oh, oh my you got the car. You didn't get out of the car. Man. That's Sir, offense. Huh? We told you to get out of the okay, car. You didn't get out of the car. Bro, that's an stop. offense. Come on, Officer Ruth, please. No, I we had to that. physically remove you from the vehicle. No, you did not. Yes, you opened my door. I don't door. know if it's a little lock, right? Come on. Be back, on the, car. Be back on the car. So I'm going to jail for this and the rest? Yes. Come on, man. Resist the rest and all that stuff that's scattered all over your Bro, that's ashes. It's not ashes, bro. Okay. Yeah. Oh my gosh, I was we was, bro. Yeah. Yeah. I did not. Yeah, the bag ripped open. Man, I guess no, I did not, bro. I got bags all, all over my car. car. Over his lap. Man, I did not have no drugs on me, sir.
Man, come on, come on, let's go. No, you gotta go, Liz. Why I got to go to jail, bro? Turn around. That was it. Oh, man. Come on, man. Please don't. Come on, Liz, man. Come on, man. Come on, man. Come on, man. Come on, man. Oh my God. Brock's continuous lying would soon become the least of his problems. He had just consumed a concerning amount of crack, the consequences of which would slowly start to catch up to him. Come on, man. Can I talk to my girl, bro? No. I, man, come on, man. Why are you going to jail for it, man? Bro, he ain't he told doing you. Get in the truck. Come on. We're not going to do this. Man, can you talk to me, please, sir? Please? I don't know what's going on. I just got here. Okay. Hey, homie. Can you talk to me, please? Are you sure you didn't eat nothing? Because your, no. your mouth is about as dry as it could be Man, right now. I did not you eat got... nothing. Bro, I did not think? eat nothing, bro. I swear to God, let bro. Let me see your mouth. Come Look on, at me. man. If, if you didn't eat nothing, let me see your mouth. Sir, I did let not see eat it. nothing, bro. Listen, listen. No If you ate something, we got to get you medical attention. Bro, I did listen, not hear eat me out. nothing. Hear me out. Hear me out. You have white powder all over your bro, lips. Bro, I did listen. not eat bro. You have powder all over your lips. Bro, okay. I did not eat right. nothing, bro. Now look at me and pick up your tongue. Bro, I did not eat nothing, bro. Okay, because you did. Man, no, I did not, sir. Right, get in the car. We're not going to do this. Get in the bro, car. we're all going to get jail for it, sir. Get in the car. Oh, my God, bro. I don't have no so, drugs no. on me. Well, yeah, because you ate it. Put your, bro, put your no, feet in. Bro, no, I did not. Leslie, put your feet in. Man, please, put sir, Put your man. feet in. Can I, can I talk to my girl first? Let me figure out what's going on. Put your feet in, and I'll turn the air up. Okay? Oh my god, man. Please, sir, man. Put like, your feet Oh in. my god, bro. Why y'all taking me to jail, bro? Put, please. He told you, put your feet in. Man, cause I, hey. Leslie, Leslie, bro, you hey. put your feet in right now. I'm telling you this. Bro, this don't last... ask me, bro. Cause Listen. I talk to my grip. Put your feet in. Oh my god, do this. Man, man. All the way. Put your feet in. All the way, sir. Put your feet in. Man, please, man. You're very patient, man. Not always there. <laughs> Cuffed and placed in the back of the squad car, the crack began to take effect. Brock's blood pressure and heart rate were skyrocketing by the second, but he continued to act like everything was under control. Meanwhile, the deputies rummaged through his vehicle in search of more evidence. Hey, he definitely ate it because yeah. his mouth is it's so white and dry yes. and he's got rocks sitting on yes. his tongue still. So as soon as he did it, oh, as yeah. soon as he ate it, he was chugging this. Yeah. He was chugging this. It was. It looks like crack in his yeah. mouth. Great. Yeah. Yeah. We're. I was gonna say we're probably gonna need it because to me it looked like you did. Yeah. It's a little. Oh. Yeah. Hey, he's still on the phone. Hang on. Go ahead, man. Go to one of my locations. I think our subject ingested some narcotics. Can I put this in your truck? Yeah. Yeah, I said that. That's fine. He was like, and then he grabbed that. And me and Bruce Lee were telling him to get out of the car. He slow rolled the whole way. He was probably eating it all. And oh, yeah. Over and then so I was watching your ADL. You were rolling for a while. Out, reach in, got down in the car, we got him out. He had all this in his pocket. He was going to be out. Yeah. We had a tank. Right here, on the steering wheel. Huh? We had a tank. No, no, no. That's what it sounded like on the radio. He had it on him, and he said, "If you didn't put your hands behind back." In the car, the deputies found another hastily opened bag of crack cocaine and a water bottle filled with its residue. While the search continued, Brock started throwing up in the back of the squad car, allowing the officers to collect more evidence for testing. Get in the back of your Let's see if we can get any of that evidence. That, uh... Yeah, that's why. Are you throwing up? Hey, sir. I'm hot. I'm hot. Get out. Leslie. Not, Leslie, you were eating the crack, dude. No, Come on. I did Come on, Leslie. I did not draw, sir. It's not my first day, Leslie. I've known this for 17 years, bro. I did not draw. Get a cocaine kit and let's just swab that. Because that. I did not swab the draw. No, I did not. Oh my god. 
Probably need more for Hey, we're good if you guys want to clear. Appreciate it, Go Pepper. See how blue that is? Bro, that is not crap, That's positive bro. for cocaine. Do you see that, right? Bro, how blue? Leslie, it? you see this, right? Bro, I'm just I didn't have no cocaine. Okay. Do you see how bright blue it is all the way around? Oh my God, bro, I didn't have no What color cocaine. is this? What color is that? Blue. Blue, that bro, came out of your spit in bro, the car. I didn't have no cocaine. You guys see all that blue, right? Bro, I didn't have no cocaine. Oh my God, so you found cocaine on me, bro? It's in your spit! Bro! Same floor? see that? As expected, the back of the squad car had become too hot for Brock, who was now suffering from hyperthermia and required immediate medical attention. But somehow Brock continued to deny everything to the end. Hey, sir. Here, Leslie, hold on. Let me see your mouth. Open your mouth. I ain't nothing. Open your mouth. Open my mouth for yes. what? Because I'm going to stick this in the corners of your mouth and or your tongue, and we're gonna see if that's cracked, so at least I can tell the medics you have crack in your system well, so they can help you. Listen, in my system, we have bro. probable cause to search you. That includes, we're not searching, you're not testing your DNA, we're looking for narcotics. This is the same thing if you bro, had narcotics. So listen, listen, no listen, this yes, is the bro. same thing if, if you stick something up your that's, we still get a right to search for it, correct? Okay, yes, so that's all I'm doing. All right? Bro, what you mean? Come so, on, man. I, I'm, you're gonna, we're gonna do hard, look at this. I'm gonna get this little corner stuff right here on your mouth. What okay. you mean? Come Stop. on, man. Leslie. Come on, on bro. You can't. Leslie. Come on, man. What we're trying doing? to be as calm as possible, okay? Bro, but you're going to turn this into something else. No, I'm not, not bro. What you doing? Bro, come on, man. Take your pick. Man, come on, bro. Like, come it's because you know it's cracking your mouth. I'm no, not it's not, stupid, so bro. Let's go. Bro, come on, bro. What you doing, bro? Come on, man. Seriously. Bro, come on. He still had chunks in the corner of his mouth that I got. I got chunks in the corner of my mouth. But he was also not really me, so. Bro, I don't got nothing in my mouth, bro. Y'all found something in my car? Come on, man, look. Oh, I don't mean that. Look at you. Man, I had nothing in my mouth, bro. Okay. I tried to get it right here. Bro, it ain't nothing in my mouth, bro. Come on, bro. It's all blue, bro. That was out of the corner of your mouth, Leslie. That's all. Bro, it ain't nothing, bro. That is cool. Look at that. Satisfied with their investigations, Leslie Brock was taken to Advent Health Palm Coast for further medical treatment. He was charged with resisting arrest without violence, possession of cocaine, and tampering with evidence. Brock could spend up to 10 years in prison and pay fines of up to $11,000 if found guilty. Next, we head to Middleburg Heights, Ohio, for another less than impressive attempt at deceiving the police. On the 12th of October, 2021, an officer spotted a truck driving recklessly and almost running over some kids. The officer was able to run the vehicle's plates and it showed the owner had multiple warrants for his arrest. So the officer initiated a traffic stop, but the driver wouldn't respond and continued driving until he got to a motel. Passenger, stay here. Stay here. How's it going? Stay over here. Do you know what stop means? Do you know what those yeah, lights mean? Like, this is my wife. Do you know what those lights mean? Yeah, I probably do. Okay. Why didn't you stop back there then? Um, well, because I was trying to park the truck. I figured you. What are you doing? Stay park. over here. Come on, what are you doing, bud? Passenger walked away. Sorry, I apologize. White male wearing a white shirt. I don't know where he went. <laughs> my bad. Why didn't you I stop? Bought. Oh, because my wife. I live here. I'm staying. Here. Passenger took off his shirt. He's right there, right in front of you guys. My wife's car. I just parking. I, I I live here. I didn't, you know, I just whatever. I apologize. Okay. Where's your ID on you? Um, I don't have an ID. Why? Um, because I What's don't have an ID. What's your name? Uh, Kenneth David King. Kenneth David King. Do you have any four ID on you? I don't, but you can look me up. Okay. Um, I just. Do you have a driver's license? My, I got reinstated like three weeks ago. He's walking around the other side of the building. Hey, he's running around over there. What did he? 
He just took off. I, I no ordered him back in the car. Off. He just took off going. I have no idea why he took off. I apologize. Mm. I have no idea why he took off. I apologize. Mm. I have no idea why he took off. I apologize. Okay, so you don't have any sort of ID no, on you? No, you me up. I'm, I'm valid. Okay. I was parking because we lived there. I apologize. Well, I didn't stop you to have you park here, okay? I stopped you back there. That's where I wanted to stop you at. Sorry. Okay, and I and I told you over the loudspeaker a million times. I know, but I was picking apart. I, I apologize. Do you, think, I, do you think that matters to me? I'm sorry. I, I, I apologize. Okay, no. Very sorry. Okay. Social security number? Uh, What's your first name? Kenneth. Kenneth? Yes. No initial D for David. King, K-I-N-G. Birthday is 22576. 22576? Yes. You said this is your wife's vehicle? Uh, yes, yeah, she's upstairs. Okay. Of course, he conveniently didn't know his social security number. In fact, he had just provided his brother's name instead of his. As the officer was checking the driver's information, the fleeing passenger was intercepted and questioned accordingly. Go ahead and put your hands right there on the wall. Mm -hmm. Okay. Ryan, what's your last name, bud? Turn around. Talk to him. What's your last name? Nicholas? Ron Nicholas? Yes. Okay. What do you have in your mouth? A fajita. A fajita. Okay. What's the guy's name that was in the truck you were with? What's his name? That's my friend. What's his name? That's my friend. What's his name? Active warrant. Active oh, warrant. it is him. Who? This guy? Yeah, hold on. He lied to me, too. Hold on. Hold on. Let me double check. So what's your name, Ron? Is that your... Ron, that's her name? Mm -hmm. Okay. We need more information from you. I need to know who you are. I need to know specifically... Why well, didn't I give you my information? Okay. You gave him... what you say your last name was? What's your last name? I... I, I... I told you three times. No, tell no, me a fourth. Once. What was the fourth? No, I told you three times. Tell me a fourth. What was it? Nichols. Nichols. And you know what you said? You tried to twist that. How did I twist it? You tried to put an A on that, like an Okay, so Nichols. N I C H O L S. N I C K L E S. Bring his ass down here. Come on, man. let's go. Okay. Let's go. Follow us down here. We're going to figure this out real quick. Aware that the driver had warrants, the passenger refused to give up his friend's real name. It didn't matter. The police were already onto their scheme and kept a watchful eye on the driver who would do anything to evade the law. Drop something? No, I didn't know. No. You just, you just kicked it under there. I didn't drop that. I'm I didn't drop nothing. You can hear your camera. I didn't drop anything. You just kicked that. I watched what you do it. it. Just leave. I, I, I didn't have that, bud. Put your hands in the back of the truck right now. I didn't now. have that, bud. That's not mine. I didn't drop that. No. No, you didn't. Of course not. Of course not. I didn't not. drop that. Ah, I don't was, know what that is, It wasn't is, you. It must be someone else. I didn't drop that. You know what that's doing. Okay. Maybe one check me. I, you check me. I don't have nothing on me. Just keep your hands in the on the back of the truck, please. Follow instructions. Not that difficult. Hey, Thomas. Oh, you are Thomas. Oh, you? No. You're not hey, Thomas. Put the cigarette out. No, no, I didn't say you take another. I said put it out. Okay, I'm you don't know how to listen? Obviously, you don't. People are stupid. Tom is messy. You're going to keep in trouble, my man. Oh, my trouble. You got about 100,000 warrants. Oh, You're suspended. I don't even want to know what the hell's in the truck. Oh, we're hooking them up. Yes. What's under the truck? Or what's under the truck? Oh, I'm talking about. Okay. Yeah, I'm talking about. Do you realize leaving meth or crack or whatever around in this hotel is like, that's not my. Happened in a million. That is not mine. Well, he's got a warrant to check whatever you want. It's not mine. It's not in my vehicle. Yeah, well, that's outside your vehicle. It's, it's not, not mine. For me. 
tell it to the prosecutor. Okay, fine. You can try to charge me with this. Not it was obviously his, and Thomas did not like the fact that he'd been caught red-handed. Car, car. How's the car getting towed? You're my driving under suspension. It's my wife's car. Yeah. It's parked, in, it's parked on private property. Oh, right? well, I, pulled, I pulled you over on public property. Okay, well, you didn't. You probably parked the car. The car's parked, and I towed the car. Peggy, call me. Hey, get my wife. I know. Hell no. Come here. It's not going to make a difference. Car. Don't let him tow your car. Oh, it's definitely being towed. Bye-bye, car. Don't even step down. And I'm yeah. just breaking my arms. I will. Just slow down. Stay right there. Honey. You little big mouth. Ooh, never heard that before, man. The rubber in the Don't resist. resist. Stop. Film me right now, Peggy. Hey, we're filming. Film. Film. Don't worry. Yeah, you're <laughs> fake. Film, you're going to disconnect and erase. What? We're tensing up. Yeah, I'm not tensing yeah, up. Yeah, you are tensing no, up. I'm you want to get tensed okay. with me? I'm not tensing up. Go ahead and abuse your own tension up. Take your shoe off. You. You can okay. check me as a state. I can get your shoe off. Hey, no problem. I'm not resisting. Yeah, you, you are. Me yeah, you are. Just the truck. You can get your truck and relax. Relax. Pig. Yeah, I know who it is. Stop, dude. Don't resist. Don't resist. Oh, man. Suck it. Pig. Suck right it. That. Pig. Really? You suck pig. Because, because he doesn't. He's it. acting and he's acting it's out of control. Here. And now he's got to be searched because Mother he wants to act like a child. Search me all you want, big drink. Hey. Oh, man. I got his pockets. He's good. We'll get it back. I can't write. I'm good. Find a charge you too for your abuse. We'll get back. Get my oh, get my Oh, you old door. Have a seat. Take me again to the house. See what happens. Take me again to see what happens. Get the get the hot The passenger also had warrants, but was advised and eventually let go. As for Thomas, he was charged with falsification, resisting arrest, driving without a license, non-compliance, and right-of-way. He could spend up to 21 months in jail and pay fines of up to $2,900 if found guilty. Back in Flagler County, Florida, a tragic hit-and-run incident inadvertently turned into a hilarious drug bust. The tragedy started in the early evening of the 24th of January, 2024, when 35-year-old Andrew Croswell ran into a paraplegic who had been riding his hand-pedal bicycle near Cessna. Boulevard, causing him multiple injuries. Crosswell fled the scene and had to be tracked by sheriff's deputies. Uh, here, Scott, hold that. Sir, I'm going to have you step out of the car and come back and talk with me. You. Who, me? Yep, you. Who's my baby? Uh, you don't have any weapons on you, do you? No. Okay, would you hold that? This is car key. I mean, I got to have a knife on me. Well, here, while you're in the car, just pull it off of you and throw it in the floorboard or something. There you go. Here, come on out. I think there's second vapes right there on the floorboard. Yeah. Is that what you were looking for? Yeah. All right. Now let's go back here and talk. If you don't mind, just step right here in front of the car. I'm going to patch you for weapons and I can just chill and talk with you. Um, what's your first name? Andrew. Andrew? All right. You're not under arrest. So I'm just going to make sure you got no nothing else on you. No, no needles, right? No. Okay. You don't look like the type, but I still ask everybody. All right, cool. Uh, so, are you an Uber passenger or are you with her? It's me and her together. You guys are together, okay. Um, who owns that car? Uh, I do, my parents. Your parents do? Is it in their name, is it in your name? It's in both of ours. Um, okay, who is she to you? My fiance. Okay. What's my wife? She's about to be your wife, you said. Um, where where all have you guys been today in that car? Uh, around town here, and then went to Daytona. Okay. Uh, in town here, when? Uh, around this morning, around uh, twelve o'clock. Crosswell didn't know it, but the victim was able to identify the car that had struck him, allowing the deputies to track Crosswell to his home in Palm Coast. He wasn't there. But later that same evening, his vehicle was stopped along US-1, followed by an immediate interrogation. she been driving that car all day, or, or you? Both of us switch off. Both switching on and off? Yeah. Um, 
were you in Palm Coast, say around between like six to eight, six to eight p.m. today? Uh, I don't think so. I don't think so. Um, who drove out of Palm Coast? You or her? Yeah. You. Okay. Um, can I ask you? There, there's. I saw there's damage to your car. Um, do you know how that happened? Uh, it happened on the front. Where? On the front. Um, I, yeah, was it on the left side or? It, um, I just saw you had front end damage, right? Where, uh, where's the damage out in your car? On the right side. On the right side. What what happened to that? Uh, I hit a curb. I hit a curb. When? Today? No. Oh. When? You hit a curb, but there's damage high up on the bumper. Is what I'm asking. Yeah, it, 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 curb. Yeah, you know, the, the Jersey barrier, whatever. Oh. Okay. Uh, when did you do that? Well, we did ourselves. Oh, uh, where? If you don't mind me asking, where? Around town. You don't remember where though. Um, going over the, the bridge. Actually, it's swerved off. Okay, did you ever report it? No. According to Crosswell, he and his fiance Clara Smith had been taking turns driving the vehicle all day. But as the investigation continued, Crosswell revealed that he was the one who had actually hit the paraplegic, and that wasn't the only information he was hiding. Oh, so here's, here's thing too, you didn't give it a, a quick note, so that means you have something, you just don't want to say it. We're going to find it, so you just help us out, just tell, where it's, tell us where it's at. You've been cool this whole time, man. We're going to find it, it's not, you know. You shook your head, yes, so where, where's it at? Narcotics were so far up his cheeks that it would take more than a few minutes to get it all out. Not coming out of the cup, man. So. Yeah, 
Step off of the vehicle and now we your body on it. Hey Andrew, describe yeah. is it a, is it just a bulb or Take is there two more? Steps back. There we go. It's all the way up the deputies eventually removed the illegal substances from his cavity. Andrew Crosswell was charged with leaving the scene of a crash, possession of methamphetamine, possession of drug paraphernalia, and introducing contraband into an inmate facility. He could spend up to 15 years in prison and pay up to $16,000 in fines if found guilty. As for Clara Smith, his fiance, who was driving the vehicle at the time of the arrest, she was charged with drug possession without a prescription, possession of drug paraphernalia, and possession of methamphetamine. She could spend up to 10 years in prison and pay fines of up to $11,000 if found guilty. Still in Flagler County, we've got a case of a repeat offender who unfortunately won't quit. On the 20th of October, 2022, a sheriff's deputy initiated a traffic stop on a commuter driving recklessly over the speed limit. Inside the car was 42-year-old Stephen Joel Horton, and he didn't care that the deputy knew he was an ex-con. <laughs> Why is it taking you so long to pull over, man? Uh, I didn't mean to... Is that you again? You again? How's it going? How's it going, man? Put in park for me. Okay. All right, how about with your license? I don't know my license is, man. Please don't do this to me today, man. Do what to you today? You took forever to pull over. I was, I was trying to even get off after the road. Doing... I was trying to get off the road, No, man. you were reaching all around, digging all around. So how about with your license? I'm not asking you for nothing else. I don't know if my license is even in here, sir. Any 60, 10, 60, My license is in here. My license is not in here. Okay. Where's your license at? I'm not sure. All right. Hop out. Hop out. You can leave that stuff. I'm going to record it, man. That's You're already being recorded. I want to record it for my... According to the deputy, he had observed Horton's car rocking back and forth as if he was hastily hiding something inside the vehicle. The deputy was on to something because Horton definitely had a lot to hide. Hop out. Hop out. Yes, sir. I'm hopping out. I'm asking you, telling you to hop out. Hopping out. Yes, sir. Get Put out. your hands up there for me when you yes, hop sir, out. Look. Don't look. grab nothing. I'm just trying to pull my pants up. Huh? I'm trying to pull my pants up. You took forever to pull over, man. I'm sorry, man. I'm trying to get off the No, road you already pulled time. off. You were already pulled over. I swear to God, man. I'm not trying, I'm not trying to do nothing else. Man. I'm trying to go home. Man. I'm tired. I just found that all my stuff is gone off my property. I'm not doing nothing wrong, so I promise to God, man. Well, you were pulled off, okay? I'm sorry, man. Sorry. You were already pulled off the road. I'm not, I swear to God. I'm and then you kept reaching around, digging around the vehicle. I was digging around the vehicle. Yeah, you were. I'm God, I wasn't, man. And pulling off. I'm not trying to give you any trouble. Step back to my car. I promise to God, man. Step back to my car. I'm right. Man, it's like, Step I promise to, my to car. God I'm not trying to give you no trouble, man. No, right no. now you're being detained. You're not under arrest. You okay, got yes, me? Yes, sir. It's all good. Just hang tight. I'll explain it to you in a minute. Like I said, you took forever to pull over, I, right? I, listen. To road, listen man. to me. To you're not listening to me. You got burnt tin foil in your driver door. Huh? I don't park that on my driver door. Yes, you do. Come on, man. I swear to God, I don't, man. Which is common with narcotics usage. Paraphernalia. Okay. You got this huge knife by your foot, too. You got this huge knife by your foot. Grass? This right here is burn tin foil, bud. What you got in your shorts? Huh? I'm not sure, man. Spread your feet, man. Okay. I'm not playing this game. I got it. Spread your feet. What you got in there? Pull it out. Huh? I'll pull it out. What is it? The melee weapon and burnt tin foil used to inhale heroin weren't the only items Horton desperately didn't want the deputies to find. What you got in your shorts? Huh? I'm not sure, man. Spread your feet, man. Okay. I'm not playing this game. I got it. Spread your feet. It. What you got in there? Pull it out. Huh? Okay, I'll pull it out. What you. is it? 
I'll what put, is it? I'll get it, man. I'll get it no, for you. No, I'm getting it. What is it? a little box or something. It's nothing, man. Here, I'll get it for you. Cigarette down. Yeah, drop a cigarette out. Shake it out of there. Can it come out? Huh? I'll get it, I'll get it out of there. I don't know, I don't know what, it, what you mean. What do you mean you don't know what it... Huh? What is it? I don't know, man. What'd you just grab? Is this the Twilight Zone right now? No. Alright, pull it out. What is it? I'm not gonna play this game with you, bud. Uh, you know they're gonna find it regardless. Here it is, right here. This is what he had. This is what it fell out of his pant leg. That's what I felt up there. Yeah, probably fentanyl in here and then meth. Stephen Joel Horton was charged with evidence tampering, possession of fentanyl, possession of methamphetamine, and possession of a weapon by a convicted felon. He could pay fines of up to $20,000 and spend up to 30 years in prison if found guilty. Less than 500 miles east of Flagler County, we head to Santa Rosa County for another suspect who tried and failed to outwit the authorities. The entire ordeal occurred on the 27th of January, 2022, when a deputy spotted a yellow SUV heading northbound with its driver, later identified as Nicole, not wearing a seatbelt and running a stop sign. As a result, the deputy initiated a traffic stop, but Nicole continued driving for another half mile before coming to a halt and acting innocent. Hey, how are you? I'm good. How are you? You got your driver's license on you? Just got it. You just got it? Yes. Is it valid? Yes. I actually just paid my, um, Ten percent. So oh, okay. I'm excited. Right now, I haven't had in a long time since like 2014. Yeah. Yeah. Dang, that's crazy. No. It's been 2014 since you had a license. Yeah, it has been. Oh, okay. I've been working very hard. And, um, staying at my home. Well, the reason I'm pulling you over is. One, whenever you drove me by me earlier, you didn't have your seatbelt on, and then you also rolled the stop sign back there, too. Um, I'm pretty sure I had my seatbelt on. Maybe my arm is through it, but I'm pretty you're, sure. You're pretty sure? Yeah, I'm, I'm like, pretty guilty. You got registration that. insurance? Whose vehicle is this? Um, it's, um, Jay. Who's Jay? Um, he is, uh, just a friend of mine, and his daughter's on vacation. Oh, okay. So, he's letting, um, me, uh, his car. Okay. Does he have registration insurance? Yes, sir. Okay. It's okay. I'll, I'll take a look at it on the computer. Just go ahead and uh, can you step out for me. You just leave all that stuff over there. You just leave the bag over the passenger seat for me. Can I take my phone? Yeah, you can take your phone. Your vape? Yeah. Yeah, we'll hold off on the vape. Okay. Yeah, just bring your phone if you want. Okay. All right. Why? You know, I just don't understand. What, what do you mean you don't understand? I said I don't understand. Oh, like, I was just what? gonna have you step out for me. Oh, okay. Thank you. The deputy observed that Nicole wasn't walking freely as she exited the vehicle. Suspecting something was out of the ordinary, the deputy decided to deploy his canine. Can you start working on a uh, written warning for yeah. her? She wasn't wearing a seatbelt. Seatbelt? Yeah. Okay. When she drove by, she was standing there, like, hiding behind her arm. Yeah. And then she slow rolled it all the way down. She's taking a license, yeah? Huh? Yeah, it's good. Okay. Nicole, you got anything in the car or on you that's going to get you in trouble? No. Absolutely not? No. Okay. I don't understand though. I mean, I've been doing nothing but like staying home, you know, yeah. 
Okay. Well, whose vehicle is it? Uh, um, what's the guy's name? Jason. Is he using any kind of illegal narcotics? No, sir. He well, he's um actually on the drug patch, so I know he's not. What about you? Have you used anything recently? No, sir. When was the last time you used? I'm, I'm not feeling very well right now, but I was not. I'm sick, but I'm okay. trying to get some medicine. Do you have anything hidden on you? No, sir. Do you have anything hidden on your person? No, sir. Okay. No. She was lying, and the officers knew it, especially because the canine had indicated that there were drugs around. Armed with probable cause, the deputies searched her vehicle while a female deputy was brought in to search her person. Under the driver's seat? Well, that's that's pretty much where uh, she was spending a lot of her time. Yeah. Do me a favor, stand back here. Yes, sir. Okay, I'm just pulling out. No, you're fine. Oh, 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 you Open for it. Open for it. I will, but it's on the floor. I don't know what it is. Give, give him your hand, or you're gonna get dog bit. I don't know what it is. I got it. I don't know what it is. I got it. I got it. No, I don't know what it is. You got it. Here. What else we got? Yeah, that's our one. Yeah. Yep. Yeah. It's enough. It's a lot of You seen yeah. what? That. It's on camera. What you seen? A blue glove. Yeah, the one that was in your pant leg. Got it. No. I've seen it too. Ma'am, no. Okay. All right, Nikki. Sorry, I got her on video. No, no. Can... Despite her best attempts, the deputies were able to confiscate more than 72 grams of heroin and prescription pills from Nicole. Nonetheless, she continued to act oblivious to her situation. This is the opportunity, to be honest. This is the one and only. <laughs> so what is it all? Um, um, I'd like to talk to you. I, I was just, I would like to talk to you, but I would like to talk to you guys, maybe not out here in the public. Well, we can arrange for that at the jail. I know, I understand that. Look, the substance is going to be tested. All I have to do is test my car because it'll be out of the bag. <coughs> is it going to test positive for fentanyl, heroin, or both? I don't know if that's what you, you do know. Um, you know what it's going to test positive for? I'm not really sure what it is. I was just okay. it, 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 I And, um, I was still... She didn't search for you? I'm a little afraid of... I, she's got a padded bra. I see you right <laughs> Do you have anything else on you? Yes, You're going to be sat in, in my patrol car and there's a camera in the back seat. Okay, so it's going to be I guess when you're hot, you're hot. Huh? I guess when you're hot, you're hot. Are you? You think it's all going to be heroin? Yeah. Except the pills. Yeah, it definitely looks like it. Nicole was charged with two counts of possessing narcotics without a prescription and one count of trafficking heroin under 30 kilograms. Nicole could spend up to 35 years in prison and pay fines of up to $510,000 if found guilty. Away from the Sunshine State, we circle back to Pickaway County in Ohio. On the 29th of September, an on-patrol officer watched as a gold minivan fails to stop at a marked railway crossing. Inside the minivan was a driver and a passenger who the officer knew had multiple warrants. Armed with the information, the officer initiated a traffic stop, but the felon immediately took off running. Got one fleeing. Oh, cool. I'm gonna send the dog! Stop, canine! Please, canine, we're sending on the ground now! Hand! Hand! He's running down the alley here. Make his way to make one. Hand! Hand! You're gonna get tased! You're gonna get tased! You're gonna get 
tank on the ground. On the ground. Right here. Get him, Harold. Why are you running? Hold him. Hold him. The officers had actually been tracking the minivan for some days. They knew the occupants had just completed a drug deal in the side lot of an auto zone hours earlier and were in the middle of splitting the profit. That's exactly why the passenger instantly made a run for it, hoping to create some distance so he could toss the evidence. Hey, Matt. Matt. It's right here. Dumb to run. What? You been Mirandized? You been read your Miranda rights? Have you been read your Miranda rights? If you have the right to remain silent, anything you say can be used against you in court law. You have the right to an attorney, have one present with you for any questions. You can go ahead. Back, get your court. I got it. You're all right. Well, no, I got a I got a felony one. Huh? I got a felony one. You just got another felony with this. What? Do you, you understand your rights? Yeah, that I, I just read you. Why did you throw this on me when I was chasing you? I didn't throw anything. I dropped my phone in there. You had this in your hand the whole time I was chasing you. Uh, you had it clutched in your left hand. And you I threw did. it under the truck as soon as I was up on you. I promise you. I, what would I do that for? <sighs> what? You, you think somebody wanted to get caught with that much dope? That's why you ran, and that's why you threw it under the truck. I have a don't I have a phone I just seen you meet the car down there at AutoZone. Or Advance. Don't lie to me. Okay. Did I or did I not see you pick up? Yes. The passenger's brief attempt at escape quickly came to an end, followed by the officer recovering the two bags of methamphetamine and fentanyl he was holding. Now it was time for the officer to turn his attention to the driver. Well, I'm going to guess you didn't know he was going to run. No, I've been I looking, didn't. I've been looking for him for a hot minute. Well, yeah, yeah. As you get out, he says he's got a warrant. Wait. Okay, you got her. So, so. Lisa, go ahead and step out. I'm gonna run the dog around the car, okay? Okay. Even though I've already got, I've already got this that came off of him. Yeah, that's nice. So go ahead and step out. I'm gonna run dog. Maggie out. Uh, yeah. Where do you want me to stand? Just over here, please. Out the street. Uh, just say I'm somewhere safe. I'll buy that tree, son. Out. Huh? You hit the treadmill or something, dude. Dude, no, like, mm, as, soon as, as soon as he bolted, he went up on the porch, so I started to go, and then all of a sudden he jumped off the side of it. Hey, the other day when you was out here, you drove our bike. I didn't know, I didn't recognize who he was. I ran him that, whenever I was sitting across the street, oh. what do you think I was doing? Oh. I had to figure out who he was, and after I figured out who he was, I ended up going back and identifying him and figuring out he had warrants. What's he got warrant for? I, I know they're felonies. I have to figure out what they are again. Uh, Kyle, just stay with her. Hey, Ted. I'm going to run Surge real quick. <coughs> ah. At this point, the driver was aware that the officer had witnessed the entire drug deal. But of course, she continued to deny everything. To determine if there were any more drugs in the car, the officer deployed his canine for a free air sniff of the minivan. Very fine gift. Here, fine gifties. Go break. Well, with everything that just happened. Here, fine gifties. Here, fine gift. Fine gift. Fine gift.
What do you mean? He's showing alert behavior, that's why I bring him back. The canine did not find any drugs in the vehicle, but that didn't mean the driver was off the hook. This stuff you picked up from me that day on the side for the boxes, oh. pump show boxes. No, 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 no. Anything no. in your purse, please. Just so I can say I checked that room. No. It's a receipt. Another receipt. Lipstick, jewelry, and coins. Just open the big pouch for me. That's it. I am. So money I just got from my mom. Right, how much is there? Well, you don't get to take it. I'm gonna seize it for now. No, you're not. Yes, I am. You haven't found any drugs on me or in my car. The man that just came out of your car had a hand. That has nothing to do with me. Hand me over the cash. I'm gonna seize it for now. Count it. I'm gonna count it right here in front of you. Somebody come over here and witness this. $62. Just like I said, depending on what we find, if we find nothing else in the car, I'm probably not going to see $62. Uh, you, you're not going to find nothing in <laughs> no, the car. I, I'm just saying. <clears throat> so, Lisa, be honest with me. Yes. I seen him coming down right here at Scioto. Uh huh. He seen you meeting up with a white Corolla at Advance Auto. What no. was that all about? Just stuff to see if we needed help. Because he was, they was checking, because my car has got this ticket. And someone said it's the engine ticking because I, I ain't putting oil in it, but I do have oil in it. And he says it's a belt, so I don't know what the fuck it is. Kyle, do you care to hang out here with her? Throughout the investigation, the driver couldn't explain why she had a known felon in her car, why she was present at a drug deal, or why she had $300 from the drug deal in her purse. The only outcome at this point was her in handcuffs, going for a quick drive to the station. Good, turn around, put your hands on your back, you're placed under arrest. <clears throat> you told me not to, or I could not to speak huh? nothing at all. So you told me to do that, so now I'm doing that, so now I'm being arrested. Yeah, because I was trying to advise you of your Miranda rights. Yeah, but you also told me not to say nothing okay. at all. No, I so I could explain to you your Miranda rights. Do you want this hey, shirt, hey. do you want this shirt to stay over your no, thumb? I don't, actually. No, I figured it'd bother you. Crack, here, can she take this cup back inside? Because it's not my coat. I just put it down here. <clears throat> yeah. I'm going to put you in two sets of cuffs so it's a little bit more comfortable. Whatever. So do you understand your rights? Yes, I okay. do. Okay, so, now, now why am I Okay, being... there you go. Now that you understand okay. your rights, I can tell you why you're under arrest. Right. <laughs> I have to tell you your Miranda rights. Okay, so now why? All right, so here's the deal. Yeah. The guy that you had in your car had felony warrants, correct? I don't know. Okay, well, he did. All right, he fled from your vehicle with a clear baggie in his hands. Whenever I got him captured with that clear baggie, it was 30 grams of methamphetamine. Close to it, probably so. I don't know, I haven't weighed it yet. I'm guessing. Guessing. But he was in your vehicle with him. Okay, well, <clears throat> what's that got to do with me? Hey, you your Patty, Stop. call my lawyer. So? In the house. Okay, and, but what's that have to do with me? Is there, where did he have it? Did he say, I, hey, I got dope, no, I'm running? No, no. He said, I might have a warrant. Okay, nothing about I got dope, no, I'm no, out of here? No, he pulled over, he jumped out of the car, and he ran. Because right now, what he's saying is the dope was handed to him. To no, it was it. not. And where, whoever you met up with at advance is who you did no, that hand to hand No, no, no. white parole. No, they stopped to see if I needed any help. He's saying that's whenever the transaction okay, the narcotics whatever. happened. Whatever. Even with the evidence clearly stacked against her, the driver continued denying having any knowledge of the narcotics recovered from her runaway passenger, and even went as far as accusing the officer of targeting her. Yeah. The purse. Yes. Okay. Oh, and the it cannot be my fault. I can Look at me when I tell you. I, I did not know he had anything on him. Lisa, I can put him in the car at the time that he ran with that. Where else okay. would he got that? But how am I? I can't help it if someone's got drugs on them, Speakman. Lisa, he's saying that it's yours. You're saying it's his. I. Who did you catch with it? I caught him with it, but out of your vehicle. After I'd just seen you Speak meet with the car Speakman. in advance. No, I didn't meet with them. They stopped to see if I needed Lisa, any help. You, you know that I'm not that dumb. You know that I'm not and that you dumb. You know I'm not that dumb. 
Lisa, I can tell you're that I can tell you're paranoid. The second you see me whoop around, Speakman. the second that, yeah, because look, look, what what you done, look what you guys have done to me. <laughs> Lisa, I haven't done a thing to you. You guys have played it evidence. Look at, listen to me. Look at where you are staying at right now. I have no place to I, live, Speakman. I, I, I get I'm that. living in a tent because I, of you guys. I would rather live in a tent than live at 819 Southside. What? Street. It's getting cold, Speakman, well, and I've that. got a dog. Well, Lisa, last week when I talked to you, you said you were getting a job at Sheets, and a week later, here I am getting a guy out of your car with 30 grams of I can't money. help that, Speakman. Look Lisa, at me. Lisa, you can't. Speakman, look at me. Yeah. Speakman, look at me. I, I trust you. It was not mine. I know. Watch look at me. Watch your foot. Look at me. Speakman, it wasn't. You put yourself in a bad situation, Lisa. It wasn't. I get it. I'm shutting the door. It wasn't. She was charged with drug possession, tampering with evidence, and possession of drug paraphernalia. She could spend up to 15 years in prison and pay fines of up to $30,250 if found guilty. Next, we are back in Santa Rosa County for a young lady who hid her drugs in one of the last places anyone would check. On the 15th of January, 2022, deputies observed a vehicle traveling south with an expired tag and initiated a traffic stop. Inside the car were 20-year-old Savannah Gail Spurlock and her friend, looking anxious and behaving like they had just been caught in the act. Where's your stop vehicle? Now your tags are expired on your vehicle. Okay. Okay, do you have your license, registration, proof of insurance for us, please? Okay. All right, if you could just provide them to him on that side over there for me, please. Okay. Um, Where are you guys heading to? Uh, uh, um, by Whataburger. By Whataburger? Yes, yeah. sir. And what you pulling here for then? Um, I had to keep my backpack that I left with my friends. Oh, okay. Who's your friend? Carissa. Okay, you left it over here with Carissa? Yes, sir. Okay. And your backpack, you got your wallet in it? Uh, no, sir. I lost my wallet whenever I went to jail. Okay. What'd you go to jail for? Uh, domestic violence. Oh, okay. Okay. You don't have your copy of your license on you, Haven? I don't think so, no. Okay. You got anything? You got the registration or anything? My phone's dead. Uh, yeah, registration. Okay. You got any weapons in the vehicle? Any guns, knives, grenades, tasers, anything like that? Ma'am? No, ma'am. Okay. I'm sorry, I didn't hear you. That's why. That's where you guys are coming from right now. Over at, over at my dad's friend's. Who's your dad's friend? Uh, his friend is Hippie. Who's your Like H I P P Y? Uh, yeah, I think so. Okay. Uh, I'm not well. What's his, is that his first name? I believe so. That's where my dad knows him. They did landscaping together. Oh, okay. All right. Yeah, I've only been out of jail like a week and a half, so. Oh, okay. Keep an eye on her phone, please. Because of their inconsistent and slurred speech, the deputy could tell that the women had just recently taken something and were intoxicated. So he had a female deputy brought in to search them and a canine deployed for a free air sniff. All right. Let's Standing over here at the front of the bumper. All right, there you go. You don't have any weapons or anything of that nature on you? All right, do you mind if I pat you down real quick, just to make sure? Well, keep your hands out of your pockets. <laughs> I know, I know, but that's like the worst thing you can do is start reaching in your pockets. I'm just gonna pat you down for weapons, okay? What happened with your trunk anyway? Um, I got evicted, so I had a lot of stuff in my trunk, and I think the latch got moved. What? Yeah, out of curiosity. Now you're just like, I'm sure. Yeah, you're fine. Oh, you live here? No, I'm you're fine. Right. Yeah. The canine returned a positive for possible drug possession, which meant the entire car had to be searched. That's good. Let's see? The little baggies are working. Yeah, I got these two pipes. This uh, this broken one was on the floorboard, yeah. and then this one was in a little black bag right here on the floorboard next to it. And then you got this little bag with whatever powder that is. I'll test that in a minute. Have you read them, uh, Miranda, yet? Not yet. Well, prior to. They were already allowing me to search their persons. Hard okay. to detain. Yeah. I'll go ahead and read it now. 
I was gonna say we can separate the two if you want to. Us, you can read it right here in front of both of them, and then we'll separate them after. Yeah, that's fine. All right, are you guys good with that? Following the search, the deputy found a bag full of meth and two glass pipes used for smoking it. As a result, the two women were interrogated separately, starting with Savannah. Okay, so obviously my dog alerted to the uh, presence of narcotic odor coming from the vehicle. Okay, that gave me yeah, I that gave me cause to search the vehicle. All right. Yes, in the center console next to where you two were sitting, I found a bag with some white powder in it, and then there's two meth pipes at your feet in the passenger seat. Yeah, no, I literally just like got a ride from her to go get the like rest of the stuff for my dad's friend, like from landscaping, mm -hmm. get the rest of my money he owed me, and then I was coming here to get my bag from my friend Carissa, and I'm staying over there by Waterburger. Okay. I'm staying with my friend, like she just got out of jail last night because I have nowhere to go. I was in Destin. Okay. So you don't, you don't. Do any of that stuff? No, you don't sir. use any I of it? I just got out of jail literally like a week and a half ago. Do you have history of using it? No, sir. Just weed. Just I weed. did 11 months probation when I was 16 years old. Okay. Do you understand what constructive possession is? Um, it means if it's in the area that you were sitting and you have reasonable access to it, then you could potentially catch the charge. Which, granted, if that's her vehicle, she's responsible for what's in her vehicle. But if she denies it too, then you could potentially both be charged. Okay. So I'm just letting you know. Mm -hmm. All right. So, all right. I understand. Thank you. Savannah vehemently denied ownership of the item. After all, it wasn't her car. Now it was her friend's turn to face the deputy. What's your name? Haven. I'm sorry? Haven. Haven, come talk to me. That's your car? Okay. You want to talk to me about the two meth pipes that I found and the bag of powder that I found in your vehicle? I'm not the only one that drives that car, and I'm not the only one that's true today, but I know that I'm... You're responsible for what's in your car. So whenever I test that, whatever it tests to be, if it's a, you know, I'm willing to bet it's either meth or cocaine. You have a history of using? Why would it be in your car then? I well, you should probably start watching who you let people get in your car then. Because, I mean, potentially, if you're saying it's not yours and she's saying it's not hers and it's with reasonable, reasonable access to both of you, then technically both of y'all can go to jail tonight. So you don't know nothing about it. Okay. Let me stand back up there. Somebody was definitely lying, but it didn't matter anymore. Both women had already secured themselves a trip to jail. Dang, I think that there's meth. That's what I got. <laughs> a little mixture of both? Meth, a little bit of fentanyl. See that? Isn't that what that they're calling? Yeah, keep that sealed up. Isn't, isn't that what yeah. they're calling purple? I don't know what they're calling it. I think the nickname is purple, because uh, they've been o ODing on it a lot up in the north end. I'm telling you, man, I think the last, like, four, five stops, it seems like it's, uh, it's hitting with fentanyl. It's hitting both, yeah. Because, I mean, I don't know if you noticed, but on the cads and stuff, freaking, they, people OD in left and right. Yep. Up in the north end. Mm -hmm. Hey, then why you gotta be lying to me? Huh? About not being a user. What you lying to me for? How you gonna tell my partner? How you gonna tell my partner that you use, and then you gonna tell me that you don't use? I'm not gonna stand here and judge you because you use. I mean, if you're a user, you're a user. What I am gonna judge you for is whether or not you lie to me. Huh? Well, if you're embarrassed, then quit. Quit giving yourself a reason to be embarrassed. Well, you're not trying very hard. You want to try one more time about telling me about that, the powder and stuff? Or are you going to continue to act like you don't know about it? I'm the only one that drives that vehicle, and I, I, I know that I'm responsible for what's in it, and I didn't, I didn't go through the car before I got in it. All right, well, you're going to jail for it. Test a positive for meth and fentanyl. And what? Fentanyl. With the evidence heavily stacked against them, Savannah decided to make one final confession before leaving for jail. Honey, that you need to tell me about. All right, hold on. I think she might have something on her. What? 
You said you have something snatched away somewhere I can't get to? All right. And that's why I just closed that. All right. Step over here. Is that tucked away up inside you? Yes, ma'am. It's probable. All right. It's probable or it is? Probable. <clears throat> I might have an extra pair. Here, watch her for a second. I just need to dry my hands before I put my gloves on. Yep. Tell you what, putting gloves on when your hands are wet is very hard to do. All right. All right, you said it's tucked away deep inside you right now? Yes, but it's not like deep. It's just okay. right there. All right. Can one of you guys bring me a bag so I can go ahead and dump it in a bag as soon as I get it out? Don't worry, I'm going to wait for them to walk away first. Okay. It's actually inside inside you? Yes, ma'am, but it's like right there. I can grab it if you want to see it. Are you able to yes, with your hands handcuffed? Uh, most probably. Uh, if you can do it on your own, then I'll let you do it. No, yeah, probably I can't. <laughs> you said it's still sticking out, though? Yes, ma'am. Is, is this it? Yes, ma'am. Is there anything else in there? Um, that should be it. If that's, that should be it? If that's two bags, yes, ma'am. That's all it was. Two separate bags. Two separate bags. Does that look right? Like I said, if there's still something inside you, then you're going to catch a felony and an additional felony yeah. charge. That, no, there should be a list of another bag. Another bag in there? Yes, ma'am. If not, then it's in my wallet in the car. It was in my wallet. It was really in there. Okay. There we go. Is that it? Yes, ma'am. Can you pop it again? Absolutely. Right. I just want to talk to her about this. Sorry. Go ahead. I'm talking about the Can I spin my gum out really quick? I'm sorry. Have a seat. Can I spin my gum out? Yeah. Mm -hmm. We'll put it in the big bag for now. Try and avoid touching that side unless you got clothes on. Uh, okay. <laughs> it, was, it, was, it was in there. Okay. In there so. Okay. You put that right there. I'm not touching it. Savannah Gail Spurlock and her friend were charged with possession of a controlled substance without a prescription and possession of drug equipment. They could spend up to five years in prison and pay fines of up to $6,000 if found guilty. Click the video on screen as I delve further into more cases.